it's Hannah and today I'm going to show you three really quick and easy hairstyles that you can do if you have greasy hair. If you have brightly coloured hair like I do, then you will know that you can't wash your hair too often, otherwise your colour fades too quickly and it gets a bit too expensive. One of those things. These hairstyles you can do on both long and short hair. I had hair that was quite short and I was able to do these hairstyles with it when it was short. i have able to adapt them, now it's longer, it works. You'll be able to do it, trust me. Before we get into the tutorial, I would just like to remind you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And with all that being said, let's hop on with the tutorial, shall we? For the first hairstyle, you are going to need a couple of hair elastics. I've just got those little skinny ones. And a hat. Oh, and a curvy grip. And your brush. So I'm just going to separate off my fringe section. If your fringe is greasy, just wash your fringe. But I'm just going to lightly back comb, very lightly, because obviously we don't want to damage our hair too much. And then I'm just going to clip it up, as I usually do. Then I'm just going to eyeball it and just do it very, very roughly. Split our hair into two. And I'm just going to plait each side so I'm ending up with well, pigtails essentially because you know I'm 25 I can still have pigtails. And repeat. You can pull at the plaits a little bit if you want, just to thicken them up. Like I say, my hair isn't the thickest it could be. And then I'm just going to take my hat, find the back of it, there we go, and I'm just going to stick my hat on. This covers up the majority of your greasy hair. I like to pin that front bit back so I get a little bit of a poof in the front. And yes, hat goes on. Nobody can see that your hair is disgusting. So for my next hairstyle, you are going to need a hair tie and a bandana. Da -da -da. I love using bandanas when my hair is gross. You're also going to need hair clips of some form, either curvy grips or these snap-ons. So to start with, just separate off a chunk in the front and we're just going to twist this very loosely. So take a section and split it into two. You're going to cross one over the other. And then take that bottom one and cross it over that top one. And then as you cross this next bit over, pick up a chunk of hair. And cross it over. Pick up a chunk of hair and cross it over. Then every so often, give it a bit of a tug. Just, just gently, you don't want it to be too loose. Tug. And you can go back as far back as you like. Oh, what am I doing? I'm getting all confused. Oh, there we go. I don't know how it works, but just loosening it at the front makes it not look as gross. But then you're going to keep just twist it a couple of times and push it back. That will make it poof. Correct any bits that we correct here. Whack in your hair clip. Now we're going to do the rest of it. So I'm just going to bring that back as neat or as messy as you like. Okay, so we got it back in a ponytail. Because my hair goes quite dry at the ends when the roots are greasy, I just like to hide them completely because I can't be bothered with people telling me how damaged my hair is. I can see, I know, I don't need people to tell me. But I'm just going to put it in a nice loose bun. And 
and then grab my hair tie. You can then take out this hair clip because it should stay in place. Then you can use your curvy grips because I don't know about you, but I always lose them. But I'm just going to use them and just like pin hair in place to make it look a bit more socially acceptable. That'll do. We'll go with messy today. Um, take your bandana. Mine is a square bandana, but I folded it in half. If you can get a nice soft bandana, they are the best. This is a vintage one from a vintage fair, which is why it's just so soft. Um, and now I'm just going to fold it up. So just fold it, and then fold it. Do you have a strip of whatever thickness you like? You can either put it this way around and tie. And then add some hair clips to make it stay in place. I like to pull some hair down at the front because I have quite a round face. So you can either have it this way around or so you can have little bow ears, that's super cute. Or, untie the knot, you can pop it the other way around. So your little bows are at the bottom. You just need to tuck these side bits in. But obviously this does also work with a ponytail if your hair doesn't dry out like mine does. Um, The final hairstyle that I'm going to show you is one of my personal favourites when my hair is grows and I just it's just quite nice anyway. So you can either twist the front like I did before, you can French plait it if you can, if you prefer. It's your core. I'm gonna poof this one up. Obviously add hairspray as and when. I just happen to not have any hairspray right now. But this one I could really do with some hairspray. Obviously, if you, like I said, if you have a fringe for any of these hairstyles, wash your fringe and then you can hide the rest of your hair. That's what I used to do when I had a fringe back in the day. But for the rest of my hair, I can't really explain how to do it, so I'm just going to give you a visual. One clip, one. So the, to this time I'm using my bandana, which I folded it into a triangle. I'm putting that around my head. Getting in a fluster with it. So wearing it like an old people shawl. Bring the two corners up and tie it where you feel comfortable. You can either go dead in the middle, you can go slightly to the side. I'm going dead in the middle-ish. Grab the bottom back part and pull. Bear in mind, I have a really big head and I can make this work for me, so if you have a smaller head, you'll be able to make this work for you as well. If you find that your bandana is too big, you might just have to fold it a little bit differently. But like I say, I have a big head, so I don't have that problem. Bring this triangle bit forwards. And place it in the middle of the knot and then just tie another knot. To sort out these bits, you just want to tuck the corners in. That is it. A hair clip. Once again, tuck the corners in and hair clip.
Yes, it covers up all of your hair, it gets all of the hair off the neck, it keeps your ears nice and toasty. People think you're being really fancy pants when actually you're just covering up the fact that your hair looks gross. See, I told you you'd be able to do it. You don't even need that many supplies. Just invest in a couple of good bandanas and you'll be well away. I am going to have a hat tutorial for this hat very soon, so keep an eye out for that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support means an awful lot to me, and why not hit subscribe? I post a new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday, and sometimes a bonus video for you in the week as well, just like this one here. And I would love it if you stuck around and joined the party in the corner of craft. Which of the three hairstyles was your favorite? Let me know, keep me posted. If you choose to recreate any of these looks or any of my other tutorials, please feel free to post a picture on Instagram using the hashtag The Corner of Craft so I can see it, check it out for myself. Don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of all my social media links. And with all that being said, I think that is everything. I shall see you very soon in my next tutorial. Bye.